Yeah, this little video is about, uh, we did a little modifying to a business card holder. It was like a, a nice, kind of a nice leather bag I got from the dollar store this morning. It was two bucks. And what it was, was it was a, one of those business card holders. So I just took the, you know, the plastic thing out. And folded it in half this side you can see it better that's half of it and that was the the other front half and it just opened up like that and, and flopped open and it, oh yeah it just had those business card holders in there so and it was last night I was sitting what thinking of a way to make something to hold um, my urban, you know, EDC, like a Leatherman accessory kit and a kind of like a small multi-tool and something that would hold my uh, cell phone. So, and just this morning, yeah, I was watching Jimmy Duresta. He made um, a Leatherman uh, leather case for his his multi tool and the uh, the accessory bits for the Leatherman, and so this caught my eye in the dollar store, and I was like, "Well, this is a perfect uh, opportunity to tinker around with this, make something customized, you know, cater to my needs." And that's all I needed. I needed um, some sort of a multi tool and an accessory compartment and the other part was you know primarily for a cell phone it's got a bit of other room in there if you want to do something but this is all I need it for because this frees up you know my other pockets for your keys and your your wallet and all the other nonsense you got to carry around these days so these are you know these are two or three items because I find these days when I'm walking around because these phones are big and heavy now I, I, I just I don't want them in my pocket you know, I just, I'm uncomfortable. So, this was ideal. I was like, okay, I'll make something so I can carry the phone in. So, I made it to hold uh, Samsung Galaxy 7. So, I put in, that's my case, cell phone case. Just put that in there for uh, size estimation. And the back, I... Uh, I left this was this was the factory right this little opening there I left that as is and I just folded this side over didn't stitch it or anything it's just fold over and this side I put in these two um, or there's buttons on here there we go so that gives you an idea so you could push this back down you know, you could use that in a different way if you needed to. I just uh, kept the options open. Basically, I just folded it in half and I made a couple of um, openings, uh, a little flap design for the other side, which I guess I'll show you now. Yeah, the strap's just a piece of adjustable leather. You carry that either around your neck or your shoulder. Um, I might change that out to something else, maybe if it's, if it's too hot in the summer, you know, the leather. For now, I'll leave it be. And, yeah, this side, I just, um, I put in a couple of grommets. Made this little flap, just nothing fancy. Put a couple of grommets in there. Did a bit, just a bit of stitching down here. With some cheap uh, nylon cord and... Yeah, once again, the, this side's put held together with the, with a little bungee cord, a shock cord. All that stuff is from the dollar store, um, except for the leather strap. This little thing just came from the leather store. This nylon plastic rope is from the leather store. The grommets I had from before, which that's all Home Depot stuff. You know, same with the buttons. 
but uh, yeah, everything else the dollar store here really. So yeah, for I did the same thing here. The top of this for the for the you know for your multi tool, so you could have quick access to it, depending on what you want to carry around. I really like this because it's very light. This is great um, because it has the Phillips on here, which locks really well. But there's like no, you know, press lock or anything like that. It's just, it's just, it's such a nice design, and it's and it's light. Um, the other side's got the the big, the big little mini pry bar. I call it. It's like have like a huge fly, uh, flat head. And uh, I love this. This is like my go-to uh, whittling knife usually. So this is really good for urban EDC just because of this. Because you can attach the Leatherman accessory kit to that bit. And that's what I really also wanted to do. And I saw Jimmy did the same this morning. He made something for the, the thing, the, the accessory thing. Because now, you know, I've got all these tools at, at my... Uh, Disposal. So that to me, for me, is like the perfect little urban, uh, you know, EDC kind of kit that I can walk around with. Because I'm usually on my bicycle. So even if I have to run into like do a bit of grocery shopping or, you know. So I've got some tools, you know, with me and then the phone. And of course, you could also put like your, your little wallet in there and hold it, maybe a couple credit card or a couple, you know, little shopping cards, something like that. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to do that for a while. That was really cool. Jimmy, you did that video this morning because as soon as I saw this, I was like, <laughs> I knew what I was doing. Yeah, right on. That's it for this one. Oh. Yes, of course. I'll show you my personalized logo. Put my logo over there. <laughs> Made in Ontario. There we go.